Hi everyone, Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with a deck update. Today we are going to be looking at Ride Changers after the Dragon uh, Climax Booster uh, Dragon Fighters set dropped. Sorry it took me so long guys, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been helping everybody get uh, prepped and ready for regionals. So be on the lookout for uh, Fuller and Terran. You guys have seen them on the channel a couple times. They will be at the Indiana regionals. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, Hunter Surge. Uh, Hunter is very, very well known and has a lot more knowledge about Ride Changers than I do. In fact, this deck took a few cues from his right, uh, Ride Changer build. Uh, I put my own spin on it because I have certain cards and do not have certain cards. So I made do with what I got, but ultimately... Um, as much as I love this deck, uh, Hunter Surge is the probably has a lot more knowledge about ride changers than I do, but I still really really enjoy this deck. I love playing it. I love tweaking it because I'm a huge Transformer fan, guys. So we will jump right into it. Our buddy is still winning maximum. Uh, our hero flag is Gal. I really wish we had winning maximums, uh, buddy human. As a flag, uh, if we do, I've missed that flag, but I haven't seen one. So we will hop right into the list itself. Of course, we are running four winning maximum soldiers, soldier forms, as he is the buddy. We do always and always will run Optimus Prime. Uh, so he's the 636, and he's got the ride changer ability. Uh, can't come into play other than the act of ride change, ride changer officer winning maximum car form. If I have six life or less, this car gets plus 2,000, plus 2,000 in counterattack, making him an 838. And then at the end of battle that this attacked, if I have six life or less, he gets double attack and he has ride. Uh, coming off that, we naturally have vehicle form. We run four vehicle form. Uh, this is Ride Change Officer winning maximum vehicle form. Uh, he, of course, has the counter ability like all Ride Changer vehicle forms. Of If you have six life or less, you can pay to gauge, put this card from the field into the drop zone. You can call, then call or ride soldier form from your hand. And he has the call cost of being a gauge. Uh, three, two, three, pretty respectable numbers. They do get better with a field spell we'll be talking about later on. Uh, next up, we are running three copies of Ride Changer Blast. Get those cards for you guys. We run three uh, robot mode of Blast. Uh, as you guys know, in the previous video, Blast was one of my new favorite additions to this deck. He is very, very strong. Um, he can't come in other than the act of Ride Change Blast. He also has the counter uh, ability of discard a ride changer card from your hand. If you do, destroy a monster or item on the opponent's field. Uh, this is really, really good because this is not restricted to size, and this is not restricted to once per turn. So you can have a lot of options of what you need to do, or you just blow up a particular monster that's giving you a headache and take out their item if the item can be destroyed. I really, really like him. If it wasn't for winning Maxim, he would definitely be the buddy. We are only running three copies of him. We are, of course, running... Uh, we are, however, running four copies of robot mode, or vehicle mode, excuse me, which is a 2 2 one uh, typical ride change of ability. He also has the ability when he enters the field or is uh, ridden, you can destroy a size one less of... Size one or less monster on the opponent's field. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Have a little bit of a cold. Uh, so, Brian Cost is a one gauge. Really, really good. Uh, I run two Silver Beaks. Uh, Silver Beak is just free damage. Uh, he's got the ride change to turn into robot mode. Uh, when he attacks, uh, you automatically burn the opponent for a point of life. Uh, his numbers are okay. They do get better because of the set spell we're going to talk about. He's a 3-1-1. Uh, with the set spell, he becomes a 5-1-1, which is good because that hits numbers. He's okay. I just run him mostly for the free burn damage. To go with those two, we are running two copies of Robot Mode. 
Uh, robot mode is a 724. And whenever he attacks, uh, he deals 2 damage to the opponent. So he's really a crit of 4 if you hit. Which is very, very good. Uh, other than that, uh, he's all for the main cast lineup for vehicle robot mode. Uh, next up, we are running just three copies of Vice Captain Quick Connect Mark II. Um, I only have three copies of them, other than otherwise I would be running Metaphor of. I know a lot of people in Ride Changers like to use him as the buddy. I just really like running Winning Maximum as the buddy, but buddies are all subjective. Uh, he's got the ability, he's just a 1-1-1 uh, at a size 0, which is okay. Um, I'm really not using him too much to attack. Said I'm mostly using him for his counter ability of counter, activate, you may pay a life. Put this from your field into your drop zone. If you do, call size 1 right changer from your drop zone by paying his call cost or right cost. Or ride a size 1 uh, right changer from your drop zone by paying its right cost. So he can... Uh, you can pay a point alive, get you down to that necessary six, uh, and then go fetch you either a unit to ride or a unit to call into the field. He himself can be ridden at a site at the cost of a life. Um, he's just good for digging. Uh, I really only really do run him, want to run him out of three of. Mostly because I have so many ways to get stuff out of the discard pile now, or ways to call. Um... Yeah, stuff just to get out of the discard pile. Uh, next up, we're running four of the brand new card. Let me find it. Seekers. Uh, Ride Changer Scouting Troop Seekers. I'm going to run four of him. Uh, this is the newest dude who is a 313. Uh, Counteractivate. Uh, you may pay a gauge. If you do, put this card from your hand or your field into the soul of a Ride Changer monster or a Ride Changer item other than Ride Changer Scouting Troop Seekers. On your field, if this card is in the soul of a Ride Changer, it gets Soul Guard. Then if you have six life or less, that card gets plus one critical. So with winning maximum, he then becomes an 848, which is just downright scary. Blast becomes a... 846 with unlimited destruction and Silverbeak. If you want to stick him in Silverbeak for whatever reason, becomes an 834, uh, which burns the opponents for two additional damage, meaning he technically has a crit of five. I really like him, he was very much needed. Um, he also fits. Uh, a lot of requirements because you do have Ride Changer and some things do ask you to pitch Ride Changer cards. And that's it for the monsters. Uh, next up we are running Field uh, Spells. This was the big, big boom that uh, the deck really needed was this set spell, which is Ride Changer Headquarters Maintenance Stock. Uh, when a Ride Changer monster enters your field, you may pay a life if you do, gauge two, its ability only activates once per turn. Uh, all ride changers in your field get plus 2,000. So this lets us hit numbers. And when you call a ride changer to the field as a monster, not as an item, you can pay a life, which means you get the six quicker. Uh, you also get the gauge two necessary to transform from vehicle to robot mode. You really, really need this. I do only run it as a three of, if only because uh, I don't want it clogging. Um, it does have Ride Changer, which is good because it would, we do get to pitch for Blast. Use the additional cards to pitch for Blast. So I really like this card. I'm really, really happy this got added. It was really needed. Uh, next up, we're running three Prepped and Ready to Launch. Prepped and Ready to Launch is the set spell that you run in almost any ride deck that says when you ride it, you can uh, sack it to draw two cards. I really don't need to say too much more than that. It's just a really good draw spell that synergizes well with the entirety of the deck. Um, next up, we're running four bodies of steel. Uh, typical counter spell of give plus 5k and counter attack to a brave machine. Uh, 5k does is your typical numbers you want to get uh, most units to, so this keeps it whatever they're attacking in uh, swinging at in play. Or lets you uh, get counterattack on units that don't have counterattack uh, when you're ridden on them. 
So I run this at four of. Uh, if I was going to make a change to the deck, I would drop this down to a three of and run uh, Quick Connect Mark II at a four of. But, you know, them's the breaks, and this is what I got. Uh, we are running, of course, four. I've seen three removes. Ride Changer Edition, it's the typical null spell. Not too much to say out of that. We do run four of that. We run three copies of Call Them Super Machine. Let me read that real quick because I haven't read this in a while. Uh, pay a gauge, search your deck for up to one brave machine, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. So you get to go search out any of your ride changers because they're all classified as brave machine uh, just for a cost of a gauge. And then you get to put them into play and gain two gauge if you have a uh, maintenance dock into play. So you're really not losing too much out on resources. So we run this out of three of Next up, we have play two ride change. Uh, ride change lets us return uh, a ride changer from your field into uh, into your hand. Uh, if you do, call size one with a different name from your drop zone without paying its call cost. So this is going to like if they target something that's a ride changer monster, not an item, you can pop it, and their attack I believe is nullified because the monster's not currently on the field anymore, so it's not a valid target. And then you get to call a different ride changer from the drop zone into the field in a different area. I like it. I'm only running it out of two of, uh, mostly just because it's just tricks and uh, shenanigans to uh, screw with your opponent's attacks. Uh, I do like it, but like I said, I'm only running it out of two of. Next up, we got Watch Your Back. I'm also running this out of two of. Watch your back. Pay a life. Discard a card from your hand. Again, we discard a lot of cards in this deck, so that's okay. Uh, gauge one. Then look at the top five cards. Put up two ride changers from uh, from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So you pay a life. You pitch a card. You uh, get to draw two. What's really important now is that we can search out the maintenance dock via this thing because it is classified as a ride changer. So if you hadn't gotten the dock yet, you do have a chance of pulling the dock a little bit quicker now because of Watch Your Back. We still run the set of two of. Uh, the deck still needs gauge, so I do run at least two Hyper Energies. Everyone knows what Hyper Energy does now. Just play it, charge forward. And then finally, we run one copy of I'd Be In Trouble. I'd Be Trouble If You Forget. Uh, pay a gauge, pay a life. Put two right changer monsters from your drop zone into your hand. We do uh, have a lot of stuff going into the drop zone from discarding, so we are running this out of one of. I'm actually honestly thinking about alternating down to one hyper energy and two I'd be troubled because we do have maintenance dock. And maintenance dog does actually take care of a large amount of the gauge so long as we keep able to call ride changer monsters. So I'll let you guys know how this goes in uh, match videos. But, you know, guys, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and as usual, uh, if you like what we do, uh, please like and subscribe. We work hard to bring you guys buddy fight videos, be it match profiles, deck uh, match videos, deck profiles, or now once a month, our buddy gauntlet scenario. And uh, this is just my ride changer deck. Uh, again, um, if you like it, that's awesome. I worked hard on this. If you don't like it, please, guys, let me know what you want to see changed. I'll be more than happy to try it on stuff down. And again, guys, go to Hunter Surge. He is the aficionado on this deck. He knows a lot more than I do. I did take cues from his deck. I'll absolutely uh, say he is definitely the better Autobot player than I am. And go like his stuff, too. He does a great job and works hard for us just as much as we work hard for you guys. So thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.